Hello my soccer universe, finally Copa America jersey review, I'm gonna do this rapid fire edition, meaning I'm going from what I think is the worst jersey to the best jersey, dishing out grades from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best along the way. Just a little spoiler, there's no 1 star shirt in here, but there's also no 10 star shirt in here either, but all the other grades we cover quite nicely. Now as a little heads up, this is very Adidas and to a lesser degree Nike heavy because there are many Adidas and Nike teams in there and then there are three other brands that cover four other teams so just to have a little smidgen for one brand I'm actually quite excited to review a shirt after a long time again so hold out for that one. Panama! And as usual, all the pictures in here of the jerseys I have taken of Football Kit Archive. Please check it out if you're a football shirt fanatic as I am. It's a great resource to look at things. Sometimes I look for manufacturer's pictures if I want to have a different angle. And I really want to thank FM Slovakia for putting nice mock-ups of the Uruguay and Panama jerseys on there because we only got release pictures that would not have fitted nicely in this video. So while they are just sketches, they actually look way better than if I would have put release pictures in there. Okay, enough of the preamble. We have 33 shirts to be ranked in here and I would say let's start right at number 33, which is a two-star jersey, which is the one I like least, Canada. Canada home. Yes, a bespoke Canada jersey. And yes, they're doing something very interesting with the Nike swoosh. Really like that, that they put an old style, 80s style swoosh in there. But really? The collar looks completely weird. The other jerseys in there that do this style of collar much better. And I still cannot pass the Canada crest. The two, it just, it's just, it's a mess. I would expect more from a Canada jersey. Do what the women got. The women got an awesome jersey. This one, bleh. Similar, and I really have a hard time with that one, but the Brazil jersey, I just don't like it. A, from the accent color in the turquoise. You know, Brazil, there should be some yellow in there. But that's maybe the smaller issue. The bigger issue here for me is the overall pattern, which is just a mess. And I think the color itself, when you see them wearing them, it just does not look right. It's, it's a messy jersey. Therefore, it rates very, very low in my countdown. Let's go over to the three-star jerseys, Mexico. I've been going back and forth on this one. There's something really cool in there. This feather pattern that is, you know, kind of Aztec related. That's actually a really nice idea, but it's so in your face. If this was a subtle pattern, or if you want to go with the traditional dark red that Mexico used to have, you can use that and then make a subtle pattern of the belt. It's so much in your face. Not really digging that one. Idea great, execution poor, I'm sorry to say. Four star jerseys, the Paraguay way doesn't excite me at all. I mean, it makes some sense, but what is this pattern? It's just a little bit wild, a little bit unmotivated. I would say also the light blue trims, I think a little bit of red could have helped here, a little bit more white, you know, get the country's colors a little bit more in. Costa Rica home, similar to Mexico. I think the idea is there, but this jersey is an absolute mess. A, it's epilepsy inducing, and B, when they were playing in that one, they couldn't even play against Paraguay in a proper jersey because both of the colors of Paraguay are in there. It's just a mess. And don't get me started on the patches, but it's mostly the pattern. It has something really interesting there, but it's again too much in your face. You can do better Adidas. And the new crest for Costa Rica, don't think we've seen that one before. I'm also not a big fan of that one. The Chile away jersey, yeah, just we know this is the Adidas template. I think there's a nice pattern in there in the bottom stripes, but other than that, I'm too blob. USA away ice cream jersey. I think it was better in 2014 when they had similar colors for the away jersey. This one, yeah doesn't make much sense at the zero zero on there. Just ignore that one for now. I think the US had way better jerseys. You don't even see that there's an asymmetric color, but there's an asymmetric color which doesn't help the shirt as well. The Paraguay home jersey, there is something I like about it. I think the blue accents within the striping, but then it is just too Puma template you know, only a half moon for the color. The sleeve cuffs are cool, but then you have the blue coming here. I think if the striping was worked out well and then all the other template stuff goes away, this could be a really good jersey, a really interesting one. This way, nah, not digging it all that much. Mexico again, the away jersey. Yes, here they go a little bit more subtle. I really love the top part, but then leave the bottom a little bit more plain, I would like. Also the color, I think that's the one thing that really turns me off on this one. Again, 
good idea execution that's where i find this lacking having said that honestly i wouldn't mind having either of these mexico jerseys although they're not pretty they're really not pretty but you know some something that gotta get some ugly jerseys to make a splash in your collection as well i also don't like the brazil home jersey Again, it's the pattern on the sleeve cuffs uh, that we saw in the away jersey uh, that is a little bit odd, but that's the least problem of this one. The big problem I have with that one is that you have the bright yellow jersey and then you go with almost whitish lines to make a pattern in that is just too wild. Brazil needs to be a strong, vibrant yellow. And then the color, yeah, I mean, I can live with it, but you know, the players really don't know what to do with that one, especially when they put it up. Looks absolutely weird. Nike, you can do better for Brazil. You've done so much better for Brazil. I mean, the World Cup jersey was a beauty. This one, nah, nah, not digging. Also, the Colombia away. I know there's historic precedent for that one. Colombia used to often play in orange, so in black and orange, I think this pairs quite well. However, if you look here in the background, I have a blue and orange that looks a whole lot better. This one, yeah, it's just, nah, again, adidas template jersey okay interesting colors but overall not quite doing it and then this wavy pattern i like the women's away jersey better let's go five stars venezuela away venezuela curiously enough does not follow the modern adidas template they just switched to adidas but they got the 22 template which actually makes for nicer jerseys and overall this jersey looks quite nice my only problem is what is this pattern around the chest i know this should probably be a v but why is it so contorted and twisted da, 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 and then there's a red missing in there that's what annoys me with this one otherwise this could be a really nice jersey if you have a flag band here i would probably put this really high up but this way yeah the pattern on this one is just off columbia home meh Man, I mean, there's a whole lot of red and flamey stuff, but again, like for Brazil, I like it vibrant. I actually like my Columbia jerseys more trimmed in blue than in red. I'm missing a little bit that contrast there in this shirt. Other than that, I think it looks okay. The only thing is, you know, there's too much red then going onto the back. Panama way, Reebok. We have Reebok. We have Reebok jerseys again. I think this one is decent. Nothing exciting. There's a nice shadow pattern in the new Panama crest, which, yeah, okay. But I think it's a workable shirt. The Canada away jersey, I'm going back and forth on this one, but there are some cool elements on this one. Again, Canada crest, awful. The shade in this kind of beige tone, yeah, but then the 11 pinstripes, it looks a little bit too centered. I think if this was stretched out, this would look nicer, but these, of course, the provinces and territories of Canada are represented by that. So that's pretty cool. Also like the sleeve cuffs, again, maybe go with the brighter red on the side but you know overall this jersey is not bad and especially i like the swoosh treatment there this is unique to canada makes this actually a standout jersey the costa rica away this pattern we have seen before i think olympiacos had this on their third jersey this season for some reason it works for costa rica and even all this temple stuff from adidas somehow works i shouldn't like this one but for some reason i do so this sits actually quite high in the counter much higher than i would have expected the panama home Again, what I say for the way I just like is the red and the gold. This makes it quite nice. And also the crest is sticking out a little bit nicer. I would have probably liked a little bit better treatment for the color. Maybe a bluish color that would have added a little bit pizzazz there. But I also love the pattern there. So, you know, nothing exciting, but also it's not that bad. Six star jerseys. Uruguay just switched to Nike before the Copa America. We were with Puma. Then they wore some self-produced kits in early qualifying campaign. Now they just released those Nike jerseys. They take the template with the weird color. But for some reason that works. It's simple, but it's Uruguay. And the color adds a little something much better than the Canada jersey, I gotta say. The Bolivia home does many great things. I really love that we have a little bit of the flag on the collar. I love the pattern on the sleeve cuffs. I do not like the light green color. If the colors are reversed, that this is a mainly dark green shirt and the accents are light green, this would be an absolute winner for me. This way it just sits at six stars, but this could be much better. But Marathon is usually delivering quality work. The Chile home. Yes, I did this template, but looks a whole lot better. And note there's a dotted pattern that just leaves a blank area, which is the star from the Chilean flag. I think this is really well done. Also, white on the bottom, blue on the top. That's an interesting shirt, I gotta say. Not great, but interesting. Then we have the Ecuador home. The reason why I rank this a little bit lower is, A, the picture is not that great, especially how the way the color looks, but I absolutely love a sash design, especially by Marathon. You know, you see the one from Peru back there. The one thing that's really bad with the jersey is not seen in the pictures. 
the back of this one is plain navy and that does not make any sense in fact for the Copa America they had to put a yellow square with a navy number on there make this all yellow and I think we're having an absolute outstanding jersey but this is a design flaw that just makes no sense whatsoever at seven stars the Peru away many love this jersey and I think the color combination is nice I just don't feel it very Peruvian I mean tiger stripes yeah okay Peru has quite some jungle but I would not associate this with Peru per se if you put an Inca pattern on there I think I would love this a whole lot more also I think I like Peru a little bit better in red than in black but overall the color combination is pleasing I love that these thorns that come in there that all the Adidas jerseys have now has also the pattern so it's not so visible so there are good things there just not perfectly Peru to me Argentina away jerseys are usually a highlight this one kind of leaves me mad yeah this goes more the 86 away jersey route in kind of the royal blue and then you have an Argentinian flag collar which is very rare that the current Adidas jerseys do that they can do that quite well here but again these thorns as I call them now from Adidas uh, in white and light blue yes it's the Argentinian flag but I think Hungary did this better with the you know when they where the flag lines follow the curve and not like this that's a little bit old I also find the crest treatment a little bit weird I think in gold this would look better I know you want to emphasize on the World Cup winners patch also the third star in white is that really necessary so you know okay but it could be much better the Jamaica home when I first saw this I was kind of yeah okay Adidas temple in Jamaica colors it's kind of cool that they use the green for the shoulders so you have the raglan pattern there and then the black patches don't bother me that much when you look at it a little bit closer there's quite some patterning going on in a shadow pattern way and that makes the jersey quite nice I also like the way that did the collar it's not cut yet it has the full v-neck so that jersey actually looks quite nice I gotta say maybe a bit too templatey but overall I think this is a winner the Argentina home is classic Argentina home I like that all the applications on top are in golden yes they're the world champions flag color here and it's we will see this a whole lot when we look at striped Adidas jerseys it's kind of the white striping but it looks all right-ish maybe that these stripes here on the side are a little bit cut is a little bit old but it's Argentina it looks Argentina it's the first jersey newly released as world champions so I guess this sells high and I think they're not doing much wrong they just dig into the colors of the Argentinian flag and add golden which is also in the Argentinian flag in, in terms of the sun so not much wrong with this one but it's also not exciting I said marathon delivers some quality work usually yes I think the Bolivia way is a really nice example of that one take it just it's a red Bolivia jersey maybe the call out the fraud is a little bit off but look at the patterning on there this is the the weaved pattern that you see all over the end is yes maybe a little bit more colorful but I think it's okay that it's not this is what Mexico could have done it looks actually awesome it's pinstriping but there's a little bit it's this is a better version of what Mexico tried to do and what Panama are doing but it's a whole lot more intricate and therefore a whole lot better good job marathon for Bolivia Peru I think it's just by default sitting here because I actually don't like the red slivers going up here but other than that Peru jerseys always look nice the red sash design and then you know the golden applications it's Peru maybe if the slivers here could have been white this would have made for an even better jersey now we're going to the top and with eight star marathon delivers quality work nothing fancy about this Ecuador jersey but I think in white with the chest band there's something cool about that that houses also the number I think it looks quite smart simple but the colors everything looks great there I also like the Uruguay home again this weird half half color but in black and white this trims the Uruguay shirt so nicely it's the classic Uruguay color I love the black side striping but also the white sleeve cuffs it just fits it's Uruguay doesn't need to be fancy it's a classic Uruguay jersey however the color is even better and I think the only reason to have this color is this America jersey look at it this is the American flag up on the collar it's a brilliant jersey because of that maybe the sleeve cuffs more one could have been blue the other one with the stripes I think it's one of the best US jerseys in recent memory 
Yes, the crest again could use a little bit of work, but overall this looks quite nice, I gotta say, and I love a classic US jersey. I love the Ecuador third. Again, nothing fancy but navy with gold. It's just the color combination that's extremely pleasing. And again, Marathon, you're doing great work. This is a really nice shirt. Not as great as the one we had the last World Cup, but still a really good one. Just one little thing. Maybe you see above the crest there are these three bars, which of course should represent the Ecuadorian flag. Make those in country colors. That would add a little bit more to it. The Venezuela home. Yes, it's the 22 version. It's simple, but again, I love the color. I love that they take the wine red and add a little bit gold to it. Class jersey. Simple, but absolute class. And you know, the crest adds the country's color, like what the Ecuador jersey didn't do. So that's why it's a little bit higher up there. I think the color combination here is really, really, really nice. And also the template sticks out. This is the best Adidas template of the entire Copa America. And it is the best home jersey, therefore. However, the best jersey is the nine star jersey, Jamaica away. Yeah, you saw it coming. This is the pattern that we saw on the home jersey, but it's not completely in your face. And take note, Mexico. This is wild. This is an absolutely wild pattern, but basically it's green with a little bit of yellow thrown in here and there on a black background. It is weird, but it looks better put together. The Mexico jersey is all over, but here it's just on the front a little bit and it's trimmed by the black and the yellow. I don't know. This looks a whole lot better. It's an absolute awesome jersey. Adidas doing an awesome job for Jamaica. I wish just that Jamaica would have done better at this tournament. This one enters the list of jerseys I would like. I mean, a Jamaica jersey for me is long overdue, honestly. This one enters the list, definitely. We have seen all the jerseys. Let me know where do you agree and disagree with me. Which jerseys did you like in here and which ones do you absolutely hate? I would love to hear that from you. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.